All right, this video is how to find weight. Well, what is weight? Weight is a type of force. Well, what is a force? A force is an interaction between two objects. And it could be a push, where they push against each other, or it could be a pull, all right? Uh, what's interesting is that most objects just push, to get, push against each other and they create a force acting on each other, but there's a special pulling force and that is the force of gravity, okay? So the force of gravity is uh, actually what we use when we're finding the weight of an object, okay? Big misconception is that mass is equal to weight. That's not true. Not equal, not equal. Uh, let's take a person, for example. Let's say you've got a person right here that weighs 150 pounds, all right? Well, where do they weigh 150 pounds? They weigh 150 pounds on the earth. If you took that same person and they traveled to the moon, the moon is smaller than the earth. And if you took a scale with you to measure your weight, you would only weigh about 25 pounds, even though your mass did not change. Your mass is just the amount of stuff that you're made up of. It's literally the amount of protons and electrons and neutrons in your body that is your mass. So what ha why does this happen? Well, it turns out that the Earth is so big that it creates a pull, a pulling force downward, right? We'll draw it on the side here so you can see it better. All right, and that's called the force, I'm gonna call that the force of the Earth. The moon is smaller, so it does not pull down with as much force. So that would be a smaller vector going down, showing the force, and that is the force of the moon acting on the same person. Notice the size of the force is different and the amount of force is different. Pounds is a type of force. In this class, we're gonna use Newtons to measure force. So how do you calculate force or the force of the earth? Well, on the earth, on the earth, if you have one kilogram, right? Like a one kilogram mass, like this one, thousand grams, it generates exactly 9.8 Newtons of force on earth. That's on earth, right? And we're on earth, so that's the number we're gonna use. So let's say, uh, you've got a bridge that looks something like this, right? And the mass of your bridge is, let's say, 0 0.050 kilograms because you already converted it from grams to kilograms. In order to figure out the force of the Earth, you would simply multiply by a conversion ratio. Our conversion ratio is that for every one kilogram on Earth, there's 9.8 Newtons of force, all right? So how would you do this in your calculator? You would type in 0 0.050 times the numerator, 9.8, divided by the denominator, which is just one. And that's gonna spit out, uh-oh, I gotta do some quick math in my head here. Uh, 10 would give you 0 0.5. I think that's gonna give you 0 0.4, nine zero newtons i hope that's correct i'm under pressure here recording this video without a calculator so i think that's correct if not i'll make an edit to the video but you basically it's about 10 right 10 times 0 0.05 will give me 0 0.5 so i think that's close but you should check that number so that's how you how you calculate your force so if this is your mass right this right here is the force per kilogram, right? This is mass measured in kilograms, and this is the force in Newtons for every one kilogram. When you multiply those, you get Newtons. Uh, that's how many Newtons of force. So this, this mass right here on Earth would have a downward force pulling on it, and the force of the Earth on that mass would be 0 0.49 Newtons, okay? Right there. So that is how you calculate the force of the Earth, also known as the, the weight 
Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. My calculation was not for this mass. My calculation was for this bridge, right? So that's how you would calculate the weight of the bridge, right? Would be 0 0.49 Newtons acting downwards towards the Earth.